parents of Karina Vetrano came to court accompanied by a few dozen family members, friends, and supporters. It was the first full day of jury deliberations over whether or not 22-year-old Chanel Lewis murdered the 30-year-old speech pathologist as she was jogging in the early evening of August 2nd, 2016. The jury was very busy today. They asked for a long list of items to help them reach a verdict. On the list, a photo of neck injuries and the necklace Vitrano was wearing when she was killed. The suspect's cell phone web searches and photos after Vitrano died. The report on where his DNA was found on her and her belongings. A diagram of the crime scene. Photos of the trail where she jogged. Phone records from Lewis and Vitrano. A reading of the jury charge or what they're tasked to do cell phone tower information from the area, and both videos of Lewis confessing to the crime. One of those videos sent Vetrano's father out of the courtroom red-faced after it played. He went back in to watch the second recording. His wife had to be comforted by family members during the hearing. Even though he confessed twice and his DNA matched that found on Vetrano's body, Chanel Lewis and his attorneys insist he is innocent. Chanel Lewis's family was not here at court today. They were here yesterday for closing arguments, after which the jury began deliberating. And when they did, they went till about 6 o'clock last night, then went home. The same may happen tonight, but I could tell you, I was just in there uh, minutes ago. And attorneys for both sides and the victim's family all in there. We could end up with a verdict if we do tonight. We will be the first to let you know, of course, we stay here as long as the jury is here.